Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can make the most out of preview in Mac OS X Lion by using some of the new built-in features. So let's jump right into this. Uh, first off, I have a little picture here. It's an Apple logo. I'm just going to open this up with preview. And you can see it right here. Now the first feature that's included in preview in Mac OS X Lion, as is included in a lot of applications, is versions. So basically if I hover over the title, you'll see this little arrow pop down, and I can click browse all versions. And then you'll jump into this time machine interface. And from here you can see the two different versions. The one that's completely annotated, and the one right here, which is the original logo. So if I want to jump back to the original one, I can just hit restore. And that works just like that. And also included with preview in line is full screen mode, just like many of the other applications. And from here I can have full control over browsing and editing pictures and PDFs the same way. A new feature when editing photos though is with the annotations. If I click the little annotate button right here and I click on this little box right here by the arrow, you can see I can do a text box, but now I can also do a speech bubble or a thought bubble. So if I click speech bubble, I can click and drag out a speech bubble and uh, from here I could type something in there. And I can also change the line thickness of course and do all different kinds of things. Maybe I don't want it dashed. And I can do the same thing for a thought bubble. There's also a new feature called Smart Magnifier. So if I go up to the Tools menu and I hit Show Magnifier, what it's going to do is give me this little round magnifier, kind of like the magnifier if you ever select text in iOS. And you can see that I can have a close-up detailed uh, view of this picture. And if I zoom in on the picture and uh, I can get an even better view at it. I can also toggle this magnifier by just hitting the back tick key on my keyboard. Now as far as PDFs go, there's quite a few new features as well. So one of the first things you can do with PDFs, just like pictures, is go to full screen mode. And from here I could swipe back and forth through pages, just like that, and I can see the page number. And I have full accessibility to all of my tools. I also have a lot of new search options. So if I search something in this camera manual, like Zoom, you can see here on the sidebar, now it gives me a thumbnail for each page. I can click on the page to go to it, and it also shows me some text around the page and how many matches there are. So it kind of gives you an expanded view of that, and I can look at page order or search rank. There's also some cool new options with notes. If I click on the notes tab, and I want to put a note right here, you can see that what it does is it draws a line to the sidebar. It kind of keeps my notes all in order and organized just how I'd like them. So that's kind of nice as well. One of the other new things is that I can now click on the little signature tab and from here I can create a signature from my built-in iSight camera. So all I have to do is hold a picture up to the camera once it loads and I just have to align it on the blue line and you can see that it comes into preview and it brings in signature right there and I can click accept and now if I go over to the preferences menu under preview and under signatures you can see here that these are my saved signatures and I've never used this one it says and I have the signature that I can use for any PDF so that's neat as well. And another thing that deserves to be mentioned is that now you can open and work with Microsoft Word as well as iWork documents right from within preview now so you can view those types of documents and you get similar tools as you would with a PDF. So those are some of the new features in preview in Mac OS X line. Perhaps they can make preview more useful to you. As always, if you have any questions that you'd like to see me do a video how-to on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.